Gustav is considering expanding into a new market. If he's successful, he'll make $100. Otherwise, he'll lose $200. As it stands, he thinks the probability of success is 60%, which means he thinks the probability of failure is 40%. He can hire Morgan to conduct a more detailed study of the chance of success. He thinks that there's a 60% chance that based on Morgan's report, he will reevaluate the chance of success as 90%. Otherwise, he thinks Morgan's report will lead him to think that the chance of success is 0%. And it's wanting to us to evaluate the value of Morgan's study. So we know that the value of information is equal to the expected profit with information minus the expected profit without information. So first, let's find the expected profit with no information. Well, that's just the 60% chance he thinks he'll succeed plus the 40% chance he thinks he'll fail. And we see that the expected value is negative $20. Now the expected profit with information is broken down into two, two parts, the expected profit given good news and the expected profit given bad news. First, let's do the expected profit given good news. It told us that give it, there's a chance that he'll reevaluate the chance of success as 90% with Morgan's report. So given good news, he'll think the chances of success are 90%, so that's multiplied by 100. And that means there's a 10% chance of failure, so that's multiplied by the negative 200 and it gives us the expected profit given good news is $70. Given bad news, there's a 0% chance of success. So 0 times 100 plus 100% times negative 200, and the expected profit given bad news is negative 200. So the expected profit given info, well, it's the 60% chance that we got the good news times the expected profit given good news, which is $70, plus the 40% chance that we get bad news and instead of having an expected profit given bad news of negative 200, we would always prefer zero compared to a negative number. So that 40% is gonna be multiplied by zero, and we see that the expected profit given information is $42. The value of information then is the $42, the expected profit from information, and now be careful here. We don't add $20 or minus a negative 20 from the expected profit with no information. With no information, we just will not move into the new market because we're expected to lose money. So anytime we're expected to lose money and we haven't made the decision yet, we'll rather have zero than a negative number. So the value of this information is 42 minus zero or $42.